Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. And occasionally, I do the odd Halloween makeup tutorial. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It's actually quite easy. You only need makeup for this. You don't need special effects. You don't need a special costume. All you need is a black hoodie, you know. It's really easy. All you needed is one eyeshadow palette, like one with some basic shadows, like all you really need is black, gray, and a brown shadow. You just need some black eyeliner, about four brushes, like a blending brush, a shader brush, a packing brush. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, and black eyeliner. That's basically all you need to create this look. I'm gonna walk you through step by step in everything that I do. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how I created this look, it's very easy. If I can do it, you can do it too. It's great for all those last minute Halloween party looks. So yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with the palest shade of concealer that I have. If you have a pale foundation, then use that, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to use concealer to do this step. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face and down my neck as well. Now I'm going to set all of that with my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. So with the black eyeliner, I'm just going to draw in the places that I want to look sunken in. It helps to actually feel your actual skeleton bone. Feel where that bone is and just draw your line on top of where that bone is. Now that I've roughly outlined where I want my sunken areas to be, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Face Studio Gel Pot Eyeliner and I'm going to fill in all those areas. Now because this is a cream product, you're going to want to set it with a eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in to a black eyeshadow and just set that. I can feel my pores screaming. And again, I'm going to set that black eyeliner with some black eyeshadow. All I can think right now is how hard this is going to be to clean off my skin. <laughs> Taking some white eyeshadow, I'm going to apply that over my lips just to cover the pinkiness that I have there. And then using a black eyeliner, I'm going to use that to draw in lines for teeth. Now 
Now going into the small fluffy blending brush, I'm going to use a grey eyeshadow to create a 3D effect around the sunken in areas of my face. Now I'm going to take that black eyeliner again and draw in some frown lines. And then just blend that in with some of that grey eyeshadow again. Alright, now I'm going to put some shadows above the top and the bottom of my teeth to give some shape and dimension. I'm going to take some of that black eyeliner into my waterline just to really block out any whiteness that I have there. Don't get it on your contacts. Oh. Also, I'm going to shade in my ears with some black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to just draw in my jawline with some black eyeshadow as well. I'm going to take a lot of that black eyeshadow down my neck as well. Now I'm going to take some of that shimmery white shadow in this palette and just redefine the high points of the teeth to make them stand out a whole lot more. Now I'm going to take some of that black eyeliner on the inside of my lips so that that line sort of continues through. Now I'm going to take that white eyeshadow and just sort of highlight in spots that I want to stand out a whole lot more. I'm going to take some of that brown eyeshadow there and just apply a lot more shading here. I just want a little bit more depth and dimension to my face. I guess that's it for this tutorial. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was easy for you to follow along. I was trying to explain exactly what I was doing as I was going along. I did use a, another video tutorial for reference. I will leave that video linked down below for you to go check out. Um, I just added a whole lot more um, shadow and depth 
and colors than the original tutorial that I sort of like referenced. If you guys did enjoy this and you ended up creating your own look sort of using this tutorial, then be sure to tag me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handles are Life as Geek Guide. They are the same across the board. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials that I've been rolling out over the month of October. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Am I scary yet? Rawr. <laughs> <laughs>